Today's video is going to be about the slipper laminator on the Low C22S. I know there's been a few people ask me if it's any better than the slipper uh, system. I don't know. I tightened my slipper all the way down and ran it for a while. Now, uh, yesterday I believe I backed it off five, five and a half turns and was doing really nice pulls. It was going good and straight. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be something that I'm going to have to adjust throttle curve uh, in my ESC or if it's going to be something that I'm going to have to uh, pedal through or if it's going to be something that I just have to go back to the sl original slipper system. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go. So if you guys don't mind, let's jump into this, let's grow the hobby, and let's get faster together. through this is the exotech slipper eliminator it's got three screws and a washer there that is all that comes in the kit other than you get a uh, little piece of paper and on the piece of paper the semi sort of instructions in this it actually says to buy the Kimbra spur. Um, so you're gonna need this. Obviously you're gonna need your tools, which I've got laid around me here. Sorry about the noise. Sorry about the noise. Uh, you're gonna need a Kimbro spur gear. Uh, I bought two because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do with my setup. I got a 72 tooth and an 81 tooth um, because I have a wide variety of pinion gears. Uh, that's why I done that. Also, I went ahead and picked up some 3 by 6 millimeter metal washers. There's the part number for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and open all this stuff up. Uh, the prep your car, if you guys can see it here, obviously you're going to want to take the right rear, the drinker's rear uh, tire off. You're going to want to pull your, your slipper. You want to pull your, your spur gear, your slipper. Uh, your retention spring, all that's going to come off. Um, if uh, I were you, I would, after you got your slipper off, I would loosen your motor screws just a little bit. That way it can move around. Remember, any screws that go into metal, you need to lock tight. So, uh, I'm going to pause this real quick. I'm going to get this done, and then I will jump back in and show you guys what to do from there. Alright, so... At this point, I'm going to take, make sure I'm doing everything right. So on the instructions, it, uh, it just shows this going in here like so. Make sure to line it up with some, some of the screw holes, let me make sure it don't fit better one way or the other, there it is. Um, so I'm a firm believer in if it don't fit, don't force it. Um, so you'll line, you'll line it up with, uh, with the holes like such. And push it through so at this point <clears throat> I am going to lock tight the screws and I'm going to 
pull three washers out. All right, guys, so uh, as I said, I've got this lined up. I've got Loctite all over my hand. Okay, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to test fit these on here first. Like I said, it's two mil without the, the washers. See if there's anything protruding out the back. And there is, if you guys can see that. It's actually quite a bit of protrusion. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in, put it on here and I'm gonna test it and see if I tighten this down, is it going to hit anything? And it's not currently, if you guys didn't see that, the long shaft uh, sticks out here. So, uh, I think from here, I'm gonna Loctite these, get these put in the three screw holes, and uh, I'll, I'll come back when I get ready to put this on. All right, I can't remember if I said this earlier, but remember, if you're gonna use the Loctite, metal to metal, Loctite the surfaces, the screws. I'm gonna shake this up. I'm gonna keep my rag next to me because uh, mine likes to leak. Open it up. And for mine, there's quite a bit running down the, the tube here. So I'm just gonna run it in there. I am going to go ahead and put a space or a, a washer on this. Kind of give it a little bit more space. Would probably be beneficial for it to be a lock washer, but I don't have any. That's why I'm lock tightening it. So I'm going to take it down in here. I'm going to tighten it down fairly, fairly tight. I mean, I'm not going to, it is aluminum, so you don't want to strip it out. <clears throat> you can do that one of two ways. You can put the washer on first, or you can put the washer on second, or after you lock tight it. I mean, um, before or after it don't really matter. It's not gonna hurt anything either way. Take it and just roll it through there. And this is a crucial step. Like, don't don't forget this this part of it because, quite honestly, the these are moving very 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 quickly, and it takes one screw to back out to have uh, what me and my buddies like to call catastrophic failure. Uh, so, I was off camera there for a second, so you guys might not have seen it. Um, but I'm going to take it, go ahead and put the washer on that. There you look, there's enough on the outside of this nozzle. I don't have to flip it over and squeeze it any. I just lay it in there and turn it around. Now the screws go in from the long side. I've not done the Traxxas one but I believe the Traxxas one will be the same. I am going to end up doing one because I'll probably do one on the drag slash, um, especially because I'm going to build another one, even though I sold him that one. Or didn't sell it, but I traded it. Anyway, so I went back around, made sure those were snug. 
So at this point, right before you put it on, uh, this is what you should have. The screws will face the long side, the shaft side. And you've got that. So I'm going to take my paper towel I've got over here and I'm going to kind of wipe the, the excess off the back. Now, just so you guys can see it a little better, I'm going to try to get this to where it'll sit on its side. Now I'm going to take my, uh, my slipper eliminator, sorry, brain fart. And I'm going to set it on there long the the stem side is going to be up the short sides going against the motor plate I'm gonna set it on there and I'm just gonna give her a little spin with my thumb and it'll seat itself now remember that washer at the beginning I said did not uh, go to the screws it's because it goes right here it goes right there now, a lot of people, these are nylock, uh, these are nylock nuts. You don't have to do this part. A lot of people will say it's overkill. I don't care. This is where you adjust your gear mesh, adjust anything else that needs adjusting. Uh, if you don't know your gear mesh, I will make a completely different video on gear mesh, what to look for, what not to look for. A lot of things say to take a piece of paper, put it between your gears, get them tight, tighten them up, and then roll the gear or roll the paper out and you should feel a small click. All right, YouTube. I, I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I believe I had done a fairly decent job of walking you guys through how to put this slipper eliminator all on and uh what to what to use to maximize maximize with your guys's efforts um i did run into a little bit of an issue with mine uh there is a uh, some sort of a bushing inside the motor plate that has popped out which i'm gonna have to pull mine back off and see what I've got to do to fix that. My next video is going to be me removing the limiters on my shocks, um, the interior limiters, and then I'm going to change my shock weight out. Uh, probably going to go with 10 weight in the front and 50 weight in the rear. So, anyway, I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. If you guys did, please smash the like button. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. And let me know how I got done today, guys. Thanks. Yeah.